Sasha S was one of the feeder satellites the Sundowns Academy set up last year to develop youth football talent within Swane. And with the new year in full swing, the satellite needed to bolster its ranks. We did the first trials two months ago and around 600 players came to Shoshangube. Today only around 100 players came. It's the 100 players that we identified in the last trials and today they came to do the second assessment. Normally we are thinking in a squad of 25 players. But at the end, we allowed around 35 to 40 players. The reason is simple. Sometimes these players are writing exams. Sometimes these players will be sick. Or sometimes these players will have problems with the transport. For that reason, we need big numbers because we need that our squads will compete during all the season. The youngsters were assessed by a host of international and local coaches that included a few Sundowns legends. Who better than the talent of the past to spark the talent of the future? It was important in us starting the satellite here because we saw that it's very imperative for the talent not to go to waste. It's a win-win situation for us because we take the boys out of the streets, we put them into a system in a development satellite where they'll be grown into football stars. It is important in the sense that it plays a part in the community upliftment because we don't have so much facilities in the township but now Sundowns with the initiative of bringing kids here and training them here, yeah, it helps us a lot because in the sense that now we don't have to travel long distances, take our kids to town, seeing that Sundowns are involved in the development of soccer from an early age, of which that's what most of the so-called soccer fundies have been crying about, that no soccer is not being looked at from the classes level. So I think now what Sundowns is doing is, is really it's addressing that problem and it's well appreciated by us as parents of social movement. He's a soccer fan and he's also a good player. I am inspiring him to continue to play soccer because the satellite is going to bring opportunities for our children in sports to be recognized so that they can go on and become big stars. They will get opportunities that they never got before. So it's a great opportunity for the entire community as a whole. It's not only the parents that are seeing the difference the satellites have brought to the community. Partnering schools like Pakamunola Primary are also benefiting. We've got learners with struggle in classes. We were having problems with discipline. So that learner, they come to the training session. The learners changed, discipline-wise and academically as well. That learner is more focused. We've got kids that when they get home, they feel they don't have a purpose. They don't understand why do I have to go to school. So this Mamalodi Sundowns initiative is giving them the reason to go to school. It's pushing them. The passion is coming back. And if there's anyone who knows that passion can get you places, it's former player and under-11 coach Johannes Briggs Mudau. With the under 11s i'm very much happy their enthusiasm impressed me very much i would like to be involved with them even in the coming three years so that i see how well they develop and they become better players better human beings and responsible players we are so happy and so proud of the development that our players are getting in shoshangube it's not only in Shoshangubi, it's in all the satellites. You can see that after one year of training, following the methodology that we are trying to introduce to all these boys, the improvement of all of them is too big. We are expecting that in the future, a big number of players will come from the satellites to the Youth Academy. Congratulations to the boys that made it into the satellite. Make Shoshangube and your parents proud, boys.